Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make this horse walker in Create. It is intended for swim horses. It uses the Create mod, which has a dependence on Flywheel, and it also uses swim mod for the horses along with these gates and some of the decor such as the screens. So let's go ahead and look at this one I've already created and see how it works. Let me get out of this. So there's two horses in here already. These are the walls. These do move in a circle. You can see there's uh, four spaces for each horse. It's not really possible to put more than four spaces on this because it relies on the faces on these blocks in the um, center so if you start trying to make diagonals you start having to have a very big build and it will look a bit wonky especially for these horses this is about a perfect size for something like this and you are in my face this is my horse to show you how it do be so i open this gate and i bring this horse in on a nice soft ground okay and you don't attach them to anything in this it can be very dangerous if you anchor them down somewhere so we have two switches here the one on the left turns it it's supposed to turn it on or is it this one? Oh no something machine broke so as you can see we have two levers here um this one on the left if i turn it on the walker starts moving and it does push the horses along kind of but it doesn't hurt them they just start walking along and sometimes you get something like that which looks a lot nicer but it does work as you can see and it doesn't only go one way. Okay, so like I said, it doesn't only go one way. So if I hit this lever here, it will go the other direction. And I can just go back and forth till the end of time, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make something similar. Okay, so before we make our mechanism itself, we need to have a power source for it. So there's many different power sources you can use with the create mod, but I'm going to be showing you one today. There's other ones you can look up. I'm going to be doing a simple windmill, and I will be using a shaft, vertical gearboxes, windmill bearing, super glue, and you can use either white sails white wool or there's also sail frames but i do not have those with me so you're going to start with a vertical gearbox on the ground and then you're going to have a shaft coming out of the top you see it matches up with these holes and there's an arrow on my screen that what that arrow means is when i right click there will be another shaft placed on top so I want this windmill to be very tall to catch the wind. So I'm just going to keep right clicking that arrow there and that arrow's gone. So I need to go up. So let's just go up. Okay, so you can make it as tall as you'd like. I'm going to go to this height and I do need to put another gearbox on the top and then make sure that's matched up. Yep. And then we need a windmill bearing to pop on the side here and it will match up and as you can see there is a sticky side on this it kind of looks like a piston a sticky piston even so what you do now is you need a block on this and it just sticks and you see now it says something when i look at it right click the bearing with an empty hand to attach the structure you just built and when I attach it, it says I need at least eight sail light blocks for it to work. And sail light blocks are wool, white sails, or sail frames. White sails will create the most energy. 
So you can either use this super glue, you right click your blocks to make them sticky, and then you stick it on. So I will show you that first. I need eight of these white wool blocks stuck to this. So right now I have five. Let's make a bit of an ugly shape here. Now I have about nine wool blocks stuck to this, I believe. So if I right click it, it will start spinning and now it is generating power. As you can see, the shaft, which is it is on, is slowly turning. That's how you can tell how much power it is generating. The faster this turns, the more power that this windmill is making. So you might want more power than this for your mechanisms. So you can either put more wool blocks on or you can use these white sails. The white sails create the most amount of energy. So let's pop these off. And you should keep a solid block in the center. But now I do not need any of this sticky and I can just put a sail block on it. As you can see, it uses the arrow system as the other shafts did. And I can just right click here and it places them for me. And I can just go all the way around like this. I'm not gonna make a pretty shape, but I'm gonna make enough. You can make yours as pretty as you would like. When I right click this, even though I didn't use any super glue and put it on backwards, it still spins. And this will generate a lot more power than the wool. As you can see, this is turning much faster. So I'm just going to pop some more on here and continue making my ugly thing. It will also support putting decorative blocks to it, so they will also spin so you can make more pretty looking sails on your windmill. I'm just going to make the ugliest thing known to man real quick. So what I mean by um, that is you can take something like fences and if you want to make actual um, fine bits, I say as I make my ugly thing bigger, it will support things such as fences going through so you can go ahead and pop some fence on with super glue you can check where your super glue is on these solid blocks by just holding the tube so i have super glue place it down Ooh. super glue this down and we'll go all the way to the end So you can add things like that and it'll still spin with your structure. So I'd recommend making it more pretty than my thing. Mine was just a test. And so we're gonna keep that spinning because it needs to be going to provide power. I'm so sorry that this looks so ugly, but you're gonna have to grin and bear it. So it's spinning all the way down to our gearbox here. So now that we have this, we can start on our other mechanism. And we'd probably like it farther away, since you might want to decorate around this. You can put any blocks around this, as long as it does not impede with the spin and the gears. So you can make a whole pretty actual windmill around this, however you'd like. So let's go ahead and put our windmill to use now. Um, you can put this shaft stuff underground. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is break this bottom gearbox. And I'm going to pop it a couple feet into the ground, such as this, and just connect up the shafts. This is so we can bury this part of our machinery later. And dig as far as you like away from your shaft. This will go all the way to wherever your walker will be. So I have dug out a thing for my walker to be over here. Wherever you stop, this last block will be where the center of your walker is. So just be aware of that. 
So now we're going to go back and connect shafts from this all the way to the end here. Okay, and now that you have it all the way to the end, you're going to need some new blocks. Okay, so now we're going to make the middle of our mechanism the part that spins. So what you're going to need is a vertical gearbox, mechanical bearing, a clutch, a gear shift, radial chassis, super glue, a solid block of any kind, and I've picked up infested stone bricks again, and then you need a middle block. So it can be any solid block and any middle block. So this can also be a solid instead of a pane, depending on what you want to use. So we go down here, and the first thing we're going to want to do is go three back here. On this third one, you want to pop your gear shift, and you have a shaft here, and this is where you're going to put your vertical gear box. Make sure the holes align on all of these. They do. Okay. Now on top of this, you're going to put your clutch. And on the very top, you're going to put your mechanical bearing. Alright. Now that you have your mechanical bearing and all of your pieces here, you can start putting things on top of this. And this light is driving me nuts. We are not doing this. Okay, so now we can put things on top of this. You see it's sticky, so I just right click. And now, if I go down to this and right click my bearing, this block will start to spin. We don't need to spin right now, but you can always come back down and right click if you think that something might be wrong or you just want to test it. So now we're going to go up to three. Four, five. Just go all the way up with super glue. This should be high enough. In fact, it might be one too high. Yes, so you do not need to go up that high. You can go up just four from the mechanical bearing with your solid block. Let's check it again. Our middle part is spinning. That is good. So now we're going to take this very top block that we just placed, we're going to break it, and put a radial chassis. This is going to make things a bit easier. So what we're going to do with this radial chassis is we're going to put super glue on each side. And what this is going to do is make it so anything selling out from this will not need super glue put on each block. So now if I put two blocks on this, and this one doesn't have super glue. When I right click to make it spin, this one on the end will still spin. Yes, so every, for every one, we're going to go seven out, making for eight total. And then once you get to the end here, you will need to use super glue on the blocks going down. It will go all the way down, almost touching the floor, but there will be a one block space. And then for any everything in between, you will need to put super glue. Remember, when you have half walls or anything like this, you can always see where your super glue is by holding the tube, so it's easy to tell where you've missed. And this one is going to go the same length down as the wall on the end. Okay, so we have one whole wall constructed. Let's go ahead and test it. And there it goes, spinning around. And now we will repeat this on every single side of this radial chassis, the same way we did the first side.
Okay, now you can see we have all four walls of our walker. And when we press this button, it does spin. And now I have to fight it to get back in and stop it. So now at this point, we are going to go ahead and put our fence around it. So get yourself any type of fence. I'm going to pick out a pasture fence. I'm going to pick out this spruce fence today. And you want it right on the outside about here. So, or one this size, three, four, five. It should be four on this side, then one, one, two, three, four. So each side, starting from here, will be about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a nine block long fence for this side of the circle. And you can repeat this on each side. So what, how I do it is I have a fence here and then I put one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that makes a nine block wide. And then I can connect like that. That's one way to make it even on every single side. So I'll show you again. One, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, for this, for whatever side you have your shaft going through, you can just put a grass block on top for now. We're going to keep it uncovered as much as possible since we are going to be doing a very small bit of redstone. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just connecting the edges up. And now we have a quite even circle with equally sized spaces for the horses. So now that you have your fence, you'd like some gates to get in as well. So let me go ahead and pick up a gate. I'm just going to use these black pasture gates. And for these gates, I'm using the care ones. Two, three. They should fit very well on the sides here. And when you put these gates on, you want them to be facing on the inside like this. So there is less space for the horse to latch onto and get stuck. So I will do that on each side here, so it's on the inside as you can see. Um, this block in between that you see here needs to be some kind of not half block as they can get stuck here as well. I'm going to go for dark oak logs and so you can just keep that one block there. Um, or put it up too, but there needs to be some kind of solid block here. So I will go ahead and do this on every side. You can make this as pretty as you want. I'm sure there's people with better ideas than I. And you can put as many gates on as you'd like as long as you have a way into each. What I also like to do is put another set of um, solid blocks on this part. It's not required, but it does look a bit nicer on the gates since it's more flush. But they will not get stuck on this bit. At least I have not seen them get stuck. Don't at me. Okay, so now your horse walker is almost completely functional. Now what you're going to need is your grass blocks, redstone dust, a lever, 
and any solid block that isn't grass. So we're going to hook up the clutch and the gear shift. The clutch is what will turn your mechanism on and off. So we're going to dig out a thing here, and as you can see, this lines up directly with this pillar. I do recommend that you line up your things to solid blocks, it will make it easier. So let's dig out a little trench here. We're going to build one under the solid block, and then like this. So what we're going to do from here is we're just going to put a line of redstone all the way down. And then we're going to put a solid block here, a piece of redstone dust, and another solid block. And on top of this solid block, you're going to put a lever. And when you turn this lever now, you will turn your machine on and off. And you can see this one's going quite fast. Now we're going to hook up our gear shift, which switches the directions. So we're going to build a little bit of a trench again. We're going to hook it to this block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like this. Now we have a trench like this, and you're going to do the same as we did for the clutch. You're just going to line the bottom of your trench with redstone, take out this last piece of redstone, put a solid block, and put the redstone on top, put another solid block on top, and finally a lever. So now when you turn this on, and then press this, you should be able to turn your whole mechanism. Okay, once you have all your redstone built, with these different gears, you can go ahead and get rid of the tops of your trenches like this, just cover them right up. You can cover this one up as well. I'll just leave it like that. I messed up my gates, don't mind me, don't question how I did that. And now, for the most part, this is working, but there is one more thing I would recommend adding. You see this on the inside is open, so one thing you can do around here is you can put a solid foundation on this that doesn't really move. A bit like this. So you have a line all around the bottom this, and then you take away this first row of screens. Make sure there isn't super glue up here as you do not want this inner bit to move with your mechanism. Let's take out this inner bit, and off, so there's no super glue on the outside of this. Okay, nothing on the sides. So we should be good to go, so just place a solid block right here. And the purpose of this is to make sure that your horse does not get stuck on the inside of your mechanism. It is basically a safety function that you can choose to use. It does help, and now when I spin it, you don't see where the inside is spinning from. You only know that these outside parts are spinning. And then everything beyond this point is decorative. You can add a roof, add different ground, whatever you'd like to do to this. But now it is ready for horses. Let me go ahead and spawn a swim horse. Okay, you... I'm gonna put four in here. I've never put four in it before. So I'm gonna put all four in. Um, do not use a lead and anchor with this. It is very dangerous to anchor a horse into one spot on a moving contraption. And no, horses will not anchor to the moving contraption. The lead will break immediately. So let's put everyone in. I'm not gonna tame them. They'll be okay. You next. Come on. Sorry, 
kind of dragging you around. You'll be okay. And last one. Ooh. Oh, I'm missing a... Well, that tells me something. Excuse me. I'm missing things in my own contraption. Don't mind me. That on for you. Thank you. Oops. No, I don't want to tame you. No, no, no. Okay, now we have four horses in our contraption. Let's turn it on. And if you think your thing's spinning too fast, there's one thing you can do. You can go up to this bad boy up here and turn it off for a second. And we can just start taking off these sails because sometimes it will go way too fast. If you have too much power, there's also a way to slow down the chain. But I can't figure out how to get it to work right now, so we're just going to slow down the power. Like, by a bunch. Turn it back on. And basically, how fast this spins will be closer to how fast your mechanism down here will spin. So now that's going slower, if I turn it on, this is also going much, much slower. It's going at a much more reasonable pace for your horses. And if it's going too fast, it could obviously be a hazard. So this is a very nice speed to just walk them and exercise them. So one thing you can do with this is if you have a tamed horse, and you pop the attack on, you turn your thing on, and you sit on the horse while it goes, it will be very slow. But as you go, this speed will slowly go up. So if you're like the laziest person in the world, you can just sit still in this walker and it'll level your horse. Your horse might hate you for it after a while, but it will slowly level this up and it also levels up friendship. I don't think this was supposed to be a thing and it's not very effective, so I don't really recommend it, but it, it does exist like this just so everyone's aware. And I can go ahead and switch the direction on them. Yeah, that one really doesn't want to go. Oh, you're very nice about it. I'm surprised. You're actually, like, trying to walk it. Wow. Oh, you are too. You're actually working. How are you actually working? That's kind of a miracle. If there's anything that's still confusing or that I missed, please go ahead and ask me. That's all I have on this one, so... Yeah, goodbye.